Hello, I am Latoya Faustin and I am the executive director of She Built This City. We have been celebrating all week women in construction and the amazing accomplishments of the women in our network. And we're closing out our week with just a moment of wow and being able to bring to you all opportunities that exist in our community that you may not be aware of. Today, we have the pleasure of connecting with Tina Williams of CETI. Um, she is a trailblazer in her own right. And so we wanna do two things. We wanna honor and highlight Tina and her pathway into the trades. Um, and then I want her to share about this apprenticeship program that she's leading and what opportunities there are to engage um, in this growing industry. Tina, welcome. Thank you, Latoya. Um, I'm so grateful and honored that I was selected to do this and speak with you today. Um, I kind of fell into this trade by fluke. Um, basically, um, I started out in human resources in a manufacturing, heavy duty uh, manufacturer mm -hmm. um, and worked my way up through the company in different positions. Um, I went from HR to materials management, customer service. I worked out in the plant floor and eventually doing corporate planning and then overseeing several manufacturing plants at one time. And the apprenticeship program, CETI, they were in between training directors okay. and someone needed to do the data entry. So I volunteered because I knew someone that sat on the committee and I started doing their data entry. And I said, and then I started learning more about what this program is, the, you know, as far as the apprenticeship, what it offers. Um, and then I applied for the position. And after about a three hour grueling interview and about a week later, I was offered the job because not only, I mean, the struggle was not only did I not come from the trade, um, but that I was a female outside of the trade, right? So yeah. I had to earn that right to be heard. So um, they, the committee wanted to go a different route um, they wanted someone to manage the program and grow the program. Um, so that's what I've done since I've been here. So I've been here going on eight years. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, since we are talking about women in construction, when I first started, uh, we had zero women in our apprenticeship program. Wow. Now, when I started, we had 45 apprentices. Today, we have... Um, 10 females in our program and 160 apprentices. Um, we've gone through a lot of changes. We used to be a five-year program um, and now we're a four-year program. Um, it's, it, it's a little bit more appealing when you talk to someone about continuing their education or making a change in their career. Um, you know, They may have been in insurance and now they want to become an electrician. And when you say five years, it, it's like, you know, oh my gosh, right. five years of my life. So when you say four years, um, it's, a, it's more appealing. Um, and especially uh, when we're talking to high school students and when Absolutely. they're trying to figure out where they want to go, uh, we needed to be another option um, for those that did not want to go right into college. So, um, awesome. so that's how I got where I am today. Um, enjoying every minute of it. Um, so as far as our apprenticeship program, like I said, it is a four-year earn while you learn program. Our apprentices go to, uh, they attend school here at our training center one night a week. Um, and I place them on what we call a job. Uh, the apprentice is going to consider it um, a uh, uh, a job basically, uh, because they're gonna get paid by our contractor um, a livable wage. So our apprentices start out at 16, 12 an hour um, and the apprentices um, receive full benefits, medical, vision, dental, um, and pensions at no cost to them. The only thing that they have to pay for are their books, which is 650 a year. Uh, there's no cost for their tuition, um, and uh, they spend the time here, not only in the classroom, but we have 24,000 square feet that we have uh, labs available. 
Um, so every couple weeks, our apprentices are spending time in the lab um, doing those hands-on uh, because they we're, we're um, training well-rounded uh, craft certified journeyman wiremen. That's ultimately when they graduate. Um, they may not have exposure to certain areas um, or applications with the contractor that they're cur currently working with. Mm -hmm. So we provide that hands-on training here, that exposure to them so that they have the general knowledge um, when they complete the program. Uh, our instructors um, all have graduated from our apprenticeship program and have worked in the field um, at least uh, seven years before they come to us. Um, and uh, when they are finished, when our apprentices finish or complete the program, uh, they are able to go anywhere and um, work, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. Obviously, uh, different states and different countries have testing requirements. So everybody, when they go from one state to another, they need to check those requirements, those state requirements, whether they need a license or they need to take a particular test, that type of thing. But otherwise, um, they stay, most of our apprentices stay local. It is a commercial industrial program. Um, we don't, we do not cover um, residential. Uh, we are looking to advance into um, industrial uh, a little bit more industrial, bringing our contractors here. Uh, we do some um, voice data uh, work. Um, uh, we have a niche contractor that does traffic signals. So we're looking to add mm -hmm. um, a traffic tech um, program here. So we're, we're looking to do uh, and expand beyond just our commercial industrial program. So that's, that's our program awesome. in a nutshell. That's awesome. You've said so many things. First, I want to take a step back and congratulate you on the amazing success you've had. Okay. That hiring committee was smart to bring you in. Um, that, And I'll just note that little push. Okay. Most hiring managers are always pleasantly surprised when they take a risk on a woman because risking, taking a risk on a woman really isn't a risk. We get the job done. And so mm -hmm. they had to figure that out for themselves. But the, yep. the double, you know, your enrollment and increase your female participation by a thousand percent. Like, I don't know what other kind of metrics <laughs> they were <laughs> expecting there. So yep. um, congratulations for the success that you've had there. And you, we've been talking about the earn while you learn. Um, for those who may be familiar with the industry, understand that concept, but let's talk about that just a little bit more. How are apprenticeships different than your traditional four-year college experience? And what does that earn while you learn model really mean? Okay. So Typically, um, when you're going through a, a college apprenticeship, um, there's an internship that may be there, and in some instances, it may not be uh, a paid. Um, and most of the partnership with our community two or four year universities, um, the uh, placement or the experience comes after you graduate. Mm -hmm. um, our program is you are working and learning um, the entire time. So earn while you learn, basically that concept is, is that you are receiving, you're working in the field, you're using those applications, being paid that livable wage, all the while you're learning, not only the classroom, because there is classroom, mm -hmm. um, as well as on the job training. Um, we are, and I forgot to mention this earlier, Latoya, we are a registered apprenticeship program with the Apprenticeship NC here in North Carolina, as well as the Federal Department of Labor. Um, so when anyone is looking for an apprenticeship, it typically, I would recommend they look, they look to a registered apprenticeship program um, there's just a little bit more deliverables that we are held to um, just to make sure that we are following, our, you know, EEOC recruiting methods, um, that we are providing the, we have audits that say we are providing this particular type of train, uh, training. Um, therefore, 
uh, it, it, not that it makes it more reputable, it's just a more firm um, uh, program where uh, they are being monitored and there's metrics and someone is basically holding them accountable to make sure that their apprenticeship program is doing what they say they're going to do. Absolutely, that accountability matters, absolutely. So I wish we could talk more. I have six more questions, but not okay. enough time. This is just okay. our moments of wow, we'll talk more. But I am you know, a woman thinking about changing careers and I, I think electrician is a space for me. How do we engage, Tina? How, how do we connect with CETI? And do you have any upcoming classes or opportunities for us to enroll in your program? A great question. So we offer, um, we start a new class um, every September. Um, okay. The application deadline is April 30th of that year. So for classes that are gonna start September, 2022, the application deadline is April 30th of 2022. There is an application process for us. Um, the potential applicant can find the application on our website at www.carolinascti.org or by phoning our office at 704-523-7001. And we can email them um, a fillable uh, uh, application. Once we receive that application, uh, there's, we need to receive a copy of the official high school transcript showing that the applicant has passed uh, one full year of high school algebra one. Okay. If they haven't, um, we have uh, a tech math course that they can take that would satisfy that math requirement. Um, if uh, they have a GED or a two or four year college, those transcripts would work as well. And then after, the, after we receive that, then they would take an aptitude test, which is reading comprehension and algebra one. And then they would interview with my committee. There's um, eight members of that committee. And then the selections are made typically at the end of May each year. Awesome. So just noting, you know, September deadline, I mean, so yeah. September enrollment, yep. April deadline, Correct. process with some preliminary testing, correct. interviews, decision by May. That's correct. Love it. Well, we're going to be having more conversations about that. And I'm okay. really excited about this opportunity. Um, Tina, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for what you do for the industry. Okay, um, where are you all located? Uh, we are located uh, in the South Point Business Park off of Carowinds. So our physical address is one three. 530 South Ridge Drive here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wonderful. Well, we're going to be coming to visit real soon. Okay. <laughs> Come on over. Absolutely. Well, this has been another moment of WOW Women in Construction Week celebration. Thank you all for joining us. This is just one of many apprenticeships that Charlotte has. We are fortunate, um, but CETI is really leading the way to ensure that there's access and equity and upward mobility here in our community. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thank you.